Cesc Fabregas is simply the best, a real trooper. We couldn't do without you, Cesc. We love you. Get well soon. We love you, mate. We'll see you next season. You're not going to Barca. You're here and you're going to win the title. We've got this year next year. We love you. Cesc, you're a legend. I actually love you. I know that might sound weird coming from a bloke, but you are actually a hero. Genuinely. Yeah, uh, get well soon. We, uh, we need you. And get and I, well. I, I kind of love you. Yeah. In a man way. <laughs> get well soon. Hope you make it to the World Cup. And if not, make sure you come back here next year. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for everything this season. You've been brilliant. Yeah, awesome. Not just this season, but many seasons, Cesc, you put your body on the line for us. And we more than appreciate that. So much so that I'm actually going to do a Gunner Talk appeal to get you a new leg. Cesc, you, you've done your art for, for Arsenal and I said we'll wish you well and get back fit to the World Cup of Spain and for Arsenal next season. Good luck, boy. Good luck. Don't leave us. Good luck. <laughs> Such a soldier. You, know, you score a penalty with a broken, pretty much a broken leg. Can't say more really, can you? Arsenal captain through and through. And have you got a little message for him? Message? Yeah, Cesc, yeah. Get well soon, mate. We need you. We need you, boy. It was heroic, wasn't it? Scoring a penalty with a broken leg. I mean, you can't ask for more than that. He's a captain. He plays with a broken leg. He's thrown pizza eggs at Alex Ferguson and he's spat in the face of Phil Brown. What a fucking legend. Ryan Shawcross and Craig Gardner have made a nice tackle on Cesc. I always give a message. You're lucky you don't live around here, you know, Sam. I'll teach you how to tackle. I'm telling you, I will teach you how to tackle. I'm telling you, you will learn what it's like to like, be tackled. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you will match Eduardo. Tell you, you'll have like a two year absence from football. <laughs> if you ever come back, yeah, I'll give you a warm up. Give a quick message to uh, Martin Taylor, Ryan Shawcross, Martin Taylor. and Dan Dancy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <Ryan Shawcross. laughs> I'm joking, imagine a family video from Martin Taylor. No, it's not a family video, it's not a family video. What the hell do you want? Martin Taylor, you're a piece of shit. If I ever seen you in the pod, I'm a dead man. We'll give you the dead for Henshig. Good luck, lad. Hope we can do it and uh, give off soon, Aaron. Yeah, and Fabregas. Yeah, and all the other lads. Percy. And, and, and William. And <laughs> yeah, and. There's too many injuries at the moment, a lot of injuries, and I do think that we need to build a bigger squad next season to compete. Because at the moment, you've got to have someone in every position to cover, and we haven't got that. And who do we need, or what position do we need? I think we need a world class centre half, I think we need a world class def yeah, a defender and a, and a world class centre forward. I think we need three. But you just wish sometimes that we could field our strongest side regularly and think, where can we be if... Uh... So maybe with a couple of good signings in the summer, new goalkeeper. Also, I want Arsene Wenger to buy some players. He needs to buy one goalkeeper, yeah? Because, like, we don't have Mooney keep doing 45 minutes that, like, he's a quality goalkeeper. He only took us 25 seconds in the second half to prove what he really is. Shame! Like, what is he? Huh? It's a what did he prove? He proved that he's one of those like spectators, you know, it's like one of those people that like to stand in no man's land. The bread and butter. Bread and butter. Now? We've got Arshavin out, and Percy out, whoever out. 
do you think we're going to do for the rest of the year? Um, I, think, I think that, you know, I still don't see why we can't do it. You know, we've got a good squad, good team spirit. We've got the resilience, we've got the determination, we've got the passion, we've got the love. So we've got the team togetherness, so, yeah, I think, I think we will. I think since they got rid of one or two of the problems, uh, we've had with uh, one or two players. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yes. Not naming any names. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. Doesn't do that. I'm worried, man, I'm worried about injuries. <laughs> no, I think, I, I think we're either on the edge of total greatness or just total collapse. It's difficult. This is a difficult one, isn't it? I think we're going to end up uh, two or three. Well, I think we've done really well to be where we are. And are we going to finish above Tottenham? That's the most oh, that's important a, thing. That, that's, a, that's a given. That's a given. That's a given. That's a given. Yes? But as long as we finish above the scum and... <laughs> Boat labour. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Juice. Shit. Bring on the juice. Bring on the juice. And more shit. Bring on the juice. Gonna talk, that's what I'm gonna watch. Real last one. Hoping Manuel's escapades at the end there didn't cost us. <laughs>